percent composition. As we all remember, percent is the part over the whole times 100. That's the percent. In this case, what we're talking about is a gram percent, a mass percent. So it's the mass of the part over the mass of the whole. So let's say we're talking about barium nitrate. The whole, in this case, would be the molar mass. So barium is 137.33 grams per mole. Nitrogen is 14.01 grams per mole, but there's two of them. And oxygen is 16.00 grams per mole, and there's six of them. So if I add all that up, I get 261.35. That's the molar mass. That's capital M. And that is my whole in terms of percent. Now, any of these guys is the part. So 137.33 over 261.35 times 100 is 52.5%. So barium is 52.5% of the whole compound. Nitrogen, I could do the same thing. I don't want to use the 14 here. I want to use the 14 times 2. So 28.02 .02 over 261.35 times 100 equals 10.7%. And I could do the same for the oxygen. Or, in fact, I could just subtract these from 100. 100 minus 52.5 minus 10.7 is 37.1%, so the oxygen must be 37.1%. I don't have to do it out because obviously all the percents have to add up to 100%. But if you wanted to check, you could certainly do that. Now, what can I do with that? Well, let's say I have a question like a mine on Earth's 147.6 grams of silver oxide. How many grams of silver? How many grams of silver can they obtain? Okay. Now we could do this dimensional analysis, or we could do this with percents. So silver is 107.87. Silver, 107.87 grams, and there's two of them. 107.87 times 2 is 215.74 grams. Oxygen, again, is 16.00 grams, grams per mole, technically. And there's one of them, so that's still 16. So 215.74 plus 16 is 231.74 grams per mole. That's my whole. 215.74 over 231.74 times 100 is, is 93.1%. So... The silver in silver oxide is 93.1%. Now, it says here my original number was 147.6 grams. So 0.931 times 147.6 gives me 137.4 grams of silver that I could obtain from 147.6 grams of silver oxide. And that's all percent is.